pop out the chat. Let's pop out the chat. Nice. Do a little refresh and we're going to do a little timer. Make sure we have a little timestamp, right? Or we're going to go like this. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to be recording with the lapel mic as well. And I'll give you guys a lowdown as to why we're doing that. Smith, how are you doing? <laughs> the legend. <laughs> Thanks for the love, man. Uh, let me give you guys a little intro as to what is in order for today. Today is uh, May 4th, 2020. Okay. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, personal finance, and all that jazz. We've done a lot of these in the last few years, a uh, couple of years anyway. And uh, they tend to be lively discussions. Uh, so that's what the plan is for today. Hello, Chicho. What's up, brother? Abdullah here. Hello, Abdullah. Did you change? No. Abdullah, how are you doing? Thank you for telling me how you how to pronounce your name. Abdullah, welcome to our live stream. As for who I am, okay, you can find me on Patreon, okay, and that's patreon.com backslash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And for those of you that are watching, the reason I'm going to be spelling out the name and whatnot is because we're recording with a lapel mic. And I'm going to play around with trying to get these live streams that we're doing in podcast format onto SoundCloud. And I'll give you my SoundCloud uh, site as well. Okay. So Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. If you want to support this project, if you want to follow this work, I don't put anything behind a paywall. So you can just follow and see what we're updating, what we're posting. Okay. And if you like what you see, then Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. Patreon.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We are live streaming these on Twitch. Okay, so if you want to participate live in the discussion, Twitch is where you want to be at. And it's twitch.tv backslash Chicho Live on all one word, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. I do announce these live streams uh, 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gab, Minds, L-O, and V-K. And all of those are basically the website name backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And the videos that we're doing live are being loaded onto YouTube and BitChute okay uh censorship allowing we put it on youtube uh if we're not going to get dinged deplatformed and we're loading everything on bit shoot uh technical difficulties put aside mask of raven how are you doing hope you're doing well brother okay and as i announced at the beginning of the stream i guess announcement went out people are popping in a few I welcome everyone. Wazuz, Hannah, how are you doing? Smith, Elder God, will show just what I needed after work today. Sup, everyone? How's it going? Good evening, Eastern Time in Pennsylvania, USA. Donite, how are you doing? X, good evening. Phoenix, Nikki, Hickey, we're gonna roll of people coming in. Welcome, welcome to another live stream. I've been looking forward to this one by the way and for those of you i'm just uh, that you're popping in right now i'm going through my little intro and i got a little something new to add on to our intro instead of trying to find a third site platform that we can load up the videos to i think i'm going to go with soundcloud i do have a soundcloud page and uh, I have already bought into the yearly membership thing where you can load on podcast format stuff. So I'm going to start playing around with that. I'm going to load on a video editor onto my computer and see what I can do with it. Basically, we're recording on a lapel mic. Any of the discussions, live streams that we have that don't require visuals, I'm going to record the sound as well and upload the sound 
to SoundCloud. And my SoundCloud address is uh, soundcloud.com backslash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. So if you're in a mindset to consume in podcast format, we're going to slowly work our way towards that. And we'll consider this to be our first podcast format of something that we're going to load on uh, on SoundCloud. And uh, I'll see where I take it from there. Okay, a uh, nice little experiment. And I think that's a good way to go about this because I've had a lot of people over the years tell me that they listen to the audio when they're working, when they're driving and stuff like that. And a lot of people over the years have asked me to do this. So I thought it was a good idea to do. Okay, uh, aside from that, I'm gonna try to catch up with chat. Um, and I'm gonna pretty keep a pretty close eye on uh, on the chat as well. Uh, we've got a little troll action happening previously. Uh, yesterday we did uh, math, <laughs> weak troll entering math stream to troll, which is uh, brutal. Um, but it is what it is, right? Uh, Abdullah Chicho, have you been keeping up with uh, Mario Kart Tour? <laughs> no, not really. It is an amazing mobile app that I personally play every single day. I think that it is great and amazing for people to of all ages. That being said, is there a chance we can talk about astrophysics to stream and the concept of black holes and a space-time singularity dude i love that stuff we've talked a little bit about it as well and i would highly recommend reading brian green's elegant universe okay if you haven't read it this came out in 1999 2000 i read it i took a lot of notes in this thing like a lot of notes uh, and it is amazing and of course uh stephen hawkins uh, black holes and elegant universe and whatnot let me take down the websites here okay uh, so that way we've got a clear view of the chat that's popping up uh, and for sure we can talk about that stuff but uh, we'll see where the discussion takes us really abdullah hey what's up dragons how are you doing huckleberry afternoon how's everyone feeling is there any part of you that thinks china created the virus for population control and to destroy the economy of the us uh, i don't think it was for uh, if if it was happening by the way hannah we're going to talk about covid we're doing we got five more live streams to do this week right the last two are discussions about covid and we're going to delve into the theories of covid 19 and all that jazz uh, your sentence, I, I don't think it was designed to destroy the U.S. economy, okay? Uh, it could have been designed. It could have been a lab. It could be many different things. But let's leave that discussion for two streams we're going to do later on this week. I know COVID is going to come up, but because YouTube is kicking censorship into a serious high gear, knocking people off, right, that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, right, we're little guys. We only got 30,000 plus subscribers, right? It will kick up, right? But I want to make sure we don't get kicked off of YouTube because we have a lot of mathematics content on there and we need people to learn the language of mathematics. That way they can make sense of the data and become, you know, pull themselves out of being just cannon fodder for the corporate elites, right? And the aristocrats and the technocrats and the governments and centralized power, right? So, and by the way, as you can tell, those two COVID live streams that we're going to do, there's no way we're going to load them on YouTube. They are only going to go on BitChute, and we're going to record the audio and put them on SoundCloud as well. Okay. Magus, how are you doing? Revenge for trade war. No, Hannah. It's definitely not, uh, as far as I see it, uh, designed to lash back against the trade war because that doesn't make sense okay viruses do not understand uh, bound, uh borders okay good evening hot stick how are you doing v vc hello hello good evening good evening bistol kirian good evening chicho good evening brist brist how are you doing was us good vibes good vibes uh i don't think that papa is talking with hannah lions how are you doing hey chicho did you hear about the venezuelan incident yesterday yeah it was another bay of pigs right i personally think it's tied to the usa or cia yeah i think it's uh what took place in venezuela was basically uh mercenaries coming over from uh colombia i'm gonna take it with a grain of salt if you want you know believe it or not or whatever you want right but i tend to believe what 
that the incident happened and it was mercenaries coming in from Colombia and I associated with another Bay of Pigs so if you want to go back in history take a look at what happened with the Bay of Pigs and what preceded that right and I'm down for a podcast yeah Smith I'm looking forward to doing it actually hello hello I love spider-man I love spider-man how are you doing dragons chicho I like the SoundCloud idea uh, usually I usually listen to streams I miss in the background while doing other stuff awesome yeah a lot of people have contacted me regarding doing SoundCloud and I'm glad uh, um, you guys are liking the idea okay VC did you see that Jesse Ventura may enter the presidential race yeah and I would vote for Jesse right I agree with you that the elections are usually irrelevant, but it seems like Jesse actually understands the system and might go against it. Jesse Ventura will definitely go against the system. He went against the system when he was part of the government, right? Uh, so if you're a Republican or a Democrat, you want your freedom, you want decentralization of power, you want to take power away from Wall Street, you want corruption out of government, you only got one choice to vote right now and it's that's jesse ventura if he runs if he doesn't run you only got one choice do not vote for democrat or republican period end of story okay really okay elder god that's awesome that way it's easier to come uh, combine with other stuff Ch -ch 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 chicho uh ding bobber how are you doing i was talking to my uh, uncle yesterday about julian assange uh, talking about how he is such an important person in current times, etc. My uncle claimed that Assange is likely a Russian spy um, informant. I don't know. He referenced the Trump election scandal. How would you go about uh, disputing this? Uh, be respectful, Dingbot. Okay. Uh, really because your uncle is going to be older he's he's consuming certain types of information there's certain things that cannot enter his psyche right now right but anybody that comes up to me and says Julian Assange is a Russian asset spy informant and he interfered in the elections 2000 I straight up really I straight up turn to them and go you are an extremely uninformed individual the only reason that you think this is because you've been propagandized through mainstream corporate centralized power propagandists for a number of years and you cannot break out of your shell if you want to be a free human being that decides your own future your own destiny if you want to understand what is going on politically economically in the world turn off your boob tube okay and here are some resources that you need to look at right and then they'll go oh he's 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 a rapist he's this he's this and you go you're completely and you repeat the same mantra again da, 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 da. you're completely misinformed you're you're propagandized you're programmed you're being controlled you're a cannon fodder we cannot discuss this any further unless you're willing to look at some additional information that is outside of the corporate propagandist machine that has been programming you to be dumb dumb period end of story right now anyone that comes out and says julian assange and wikileaks are russian assets and stuff like this i personally don't hold back but i'm a lot older than you right most of the people that i talk to well i talk to older people than me as well right but most of the people i talk to they are a little bit younger so that gives me a little bit of more lean way to be brutal with them you are not be kind i'm saying what you need to say but say in a gentle fashion and do some research and find the key points that people are using to demonize crucify a whistleblower a journalist that revealed war crimes right and find the key points that the propagandists and it's easy to dispute the garbage that corporate propaganda machine spews right because they had to have like two three four talking points right so all you have to find is the facts behind those two three four talking points that you have they have right because that's what people who've been brainwashed will regurgitate right they'll go oh this and then you say no da, 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 da. here it is and they go oh oh no 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 this and you go oh no you're mistaken here's da, 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 da. this this and they go oh, oh, this and they go no no here they go da, 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 this <laughs> right once you do that a few times you make them look stupid they'll think twice okay caterpillaring hello hello proud to be a part of the first chicho cast <laughs> awesome the ripper how you doing brother how's life 
first time in one of these nice welcome welcome catering catering pillaring i'm way behind chat gang i'm gonna scroll down and i'm gonna look for anything that's geared towards me sleepy waves word any articles uh articles info on technocrats a, a, a gazillion uh sleepy waves there's so much information regarding technocrats start from where google youtube are censoring discourse right just look into censorship deplatforming uh and all that jazz and in regards to technocrats look into uh, i mean there's so much going on like where do we begin man that's exactly what i thought the second i heard about it bay of pigs 2.0 yeah lions agreed agreed graham you change your name always be making <laughs> nice graham warden hello hello adios adios always be making pepper spinach i'm scrolling down gang um is it weird that i listen to your streams to help me sleep no i have a lot of people that do that right i used to by the way there's nothing wrong with listening to lectures discussions interviews uh podcast videos like this that are designed to stimulate the mind and talk about things that some people don't like to talk about right it's okay to listen to information right to try to learn something and participate in the discussion and fall asleep it's called sleep learning we used to like this has been some it, it could be called sleep learning you're doing it for sleep or whatnot but people don't really appreciate that sleep learning is something that has been around for a number of decades i remember in the 1980s i knew people that would record do readings of books right read a chapter history chapter or whatever they would on a tape deck and then they would press the tape deck and go to sleep to it there's nothing wrong with that and some of those people that i knew did that they were in the 99 percent percentile right they were like acing everything there's nothing wrong with that man abdullah chicho, chicho. recently i heard that uh pornography influence towards youth is a sen sense that is making them stereotypical differences races of humans is terrible and sick recently uh, you know what there's a lot of stuff going around um uh, what's app that leads to a call trying to recruit and yeah there's so many uh what do you call it abdullah there's so so many traps set out there for people to become cannon father or to join a cause to become a cult member and stuff like this we have to be aware of what's going on ripper chicho all is well brother thank you sir it's been a beautiful 79 degrees in uh, Pennsylvania today. Hope all is well up in Canada for you, uh, good brother. Thank you very much, Ripper. Uh, it's it's going well here. It's not as warm. It's pretty chilly here, right? I got my I got my toque here too, just in case I get a little cold. I'm gonna put the, put this warm hat on my head. Uh, Ding bobber, thank you, Chicho. My uncle is in his 70s, so unfortunately, the indoctrination is heavy. I was respectful and don't really see a benefit to proving him wrong. Thanks to yeah, ding bobber. I've talked to uh, some people in their 60s, 70s, even 80s regarding what's taking place, and uh, I just tell them. And there's one person I've talked to for a number of years now. Uh, it's actually a parent of one of my students that I see often. And we talk about a lot of different things. And I'm part of the family because I've I've been with them for a long time, right? Um, and I'm open with them. And I've told them, stop listening, watching CNN, ABC, CNBC, BBC. Tell it, stop reading The Telegraph, The Guardian. Stop, stop, right? Uh, they can't, they cannot they're they've been in it too long okay gang i scrolled oh el miro i saw another chicho chicho are you worried about the coronavirus conspiracies they seem to only be getting more popular every day i'm not worried about them no why should i be worried about them uh we're gonna do a couple of live streams about this i'm definitely not worried about them i just want it to be in the light right i want there to be open discussion regarding COVID. right i don't want it to be hidden in the shadows 
right? Where cults can form and people can be misinformed and the cult leaders can zap people up and bring them into their into their fold and and send them off to do chaos, right? Shine a light on the chaos. Shine a light on crap, right? Shine a light on things. Have open discussion. That's the name of the game, man. That's the name of the game. And I'm gonna do my best to to do that. And angered, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's also that he's at the age where trying to uproot him so that he's right for the next. Just to be realistic, two to three years left on his life. I'd rather he enjoy his last days, not try, uh, not try and tell him his whole existence has been a lie. Yeah, and angered, it's a fine line in regards uh, in regards to dealing with that, right? Uh, people mean well. But if, you know, I've taken it easy on people. Really, I have. Uh, but if they start being very forceful regarding their opinions, you have no choice uh, as far as I see it. Uh, if, if, let me rephrase. If I'm alone with someone, I don't try to correct them. But if it's a discussion with a family where there is other generations in the room, that tend to look highly upon the views of the elders and the elders are preaching garbage propaganda we have to step in and provide an alternate point of view i've done that for a while i get burned you know people get pissed at me every now and then in family settings but it needs to be done because it's not just the elders talking there's younger generations coming up yeah, Mask of Ravens says, no one wants to realize they've been misled or tricked. Yeah. Okay, I'm here now. <laughs> uh, Everyday Gatsby, Chicho, Ripper, always dig the hats. <laughs> I'll have to send you an official Ripper beanie. Oh my God, you got an official Ripper beanie? Oh, dude. Yes, please. Yes, please. Maz, no half measures today. Elder God, I agree. No half measures today. Okay. Z we z right now, in regards to trolls, as far as I'm concerned, because they they messed around with our math stream. But it wasn't them messing around. I was unaware. And most of us were. They asked a mathematical question. And me being who I am, I answered a mathematical question. And people participated. And someone that was in the know said that we were being trolled in a very nasty way. Right? Um so no mercy for now okay teacho hello to you and chat lonely piggy how are you doing have we watched breaking bad before for sure money i've watched all of it breaking bad is fantastic and someone mentioned the wire wire is on the same caliber as breaking bad lions chicho where do you stand on the whole 5g discussion personally i think it has no health risk but some people seem so fanatical about it uh people are connecting they get they get a little confused with the 5g stuff right they're connecting 5g with everything you can't connect with 5g with everything right they're going oh coronavirus 5 it's like dude that's there's a lot more data you have to go through if, before even you consider that however personally if i lived in a neighborhood where they're putting up 5g antennas all around me i'd move okay my specialty in geophysics was electromagnetic magnetic methods I would not want to be living near antennas that are emitting electromagnetic waves, whatever they are, right? We as human beings are electrical beings, period. We the only the only way we're able to exist right now, communicate, talk, think, is because of electricity. We are electrical beings. Electromagnetism and magnetism and electricity, they're related right and people say oh the frequency is different the wavelength is not high power no okay there has to be way more intense research done into the effects of certain things before they're rolled out on mass through the world right the only reason we're seeing these things roll out so fast is because of our current economic system right shareholder increased shareholder value wall street economic system well that's garbage right that's not scientific 
that's about money, right? Autistic. Hey, Chicho, I'm a member of political youth organization in the Netherlands. Would you also consider these cults? Uh, depends. Depends what you do, right? Dutch law is quite specific on the way political parties have to be organized, internal democracy and transparency about funding. Here, here's my definition of cult, right? A cult is an organization that keeps things secret, right? And there's a hierarchy system. So those people coming in at the beginning, they don't know what's going on up top right so a cult in definition has to have secrets right it doesn't share everything right so if you belong to a religious institution that doesn't share everything they say oh we you won't know that until you're in the system for 10 years that's a cult right i don't care if they're doing good around the world or not right it's a cult right so if you if it's not transparent then Personally, I, I consider any organization that is not transparent to be a cult. My definition is very broad because there are very varying types of cults all over all over the world. Wall Street is a cult, right? To a certain degree. There's a cult of finance. There's a cult of this. There's democratic cults, Republican cults. They can do no evil. They will always be this. They will always be this. Hell or high water we will always vote democrat then you belong to a cult right ground warning chicho i was trying to sleep last night and at 3 a.m i i had another eureka moment about education i think one of the major ways to get students motivated who aren't motivated by the prospect of learning is to use drama uh we pay attention when knowledge is uh contextualized in a way that is dramatic will will the will the heroes will the students me and mask of raven were talking about this earlier today on stream so you mean uh introduce emotion into the lesson if so i 100 percent agree with you graham because that's what i do I, I i just released the video this morning just before the live stream related to a little segment that we did in the math stream yesterday right on how to teach gamers uh how to get them excited about mathematics and ratios and units i didn't mention units but it's units really right get them riled up do whatever you need to do within reason right don't destroy them but get them emotionally involved get them to be invested in the lesson right if in that case i 100 percent agree Milo, how are you doing? Hey, first time I'm dropping by, and so far I find this channel very interesting. As far as discussions go, do you mind uh, to share your thoughts on what you think is likely to happen in the next 10 years? I know it's a long shot, but it's fun to see where people think we are headed. Greetings from Denmark. Greetings, Milo. How are you doing? Uh, in terms of what's going to happen in the next 10 years, we're seeing a complete economic shift taking place right now there's disruptive innovation popping up left and right there's mergers and acquisitions happening left and right that means there's going to be a tremendous number of bankruptcies happening large and small in in the western world anyway okay we're going to see bank runs we're going to see serious uh i know it's it's really laying it on but we're going to see see serious disruption of on every level we're going to see conflicts kick up ideally we're going to see certain corporations individuals uh institutions being held accountable for their crimes that would that if as soon as that starts happening you'll you'll know that we're going in the right direction if the status quo continues where wall street gov governs our politics where the technocrats cover, um, govern discussion okay where the military industrial complex decides which countries can decide their own future or not decide their own future if we see the status quo continue like this it, within 10 years we're going to see certain countries disintegrate right break off which might not be a bad thing right but unfortunately power is not going to give up 
our capital is not going to give up power easily so they're going to create chaos many places it's called scorched earth mentality if you play any type of game right which is really the basis of foreign policy for the western world mainly nato countries right scorched earth mentality country you know they turn to weaker countries and say do as we say the weaker country says no they burn the place down right look at libya look at syria look at yemen right look at honduras look at venezuela look at bolivia right unfortunately that's where we're headed until we until we start holding power and capital accountable and until we have transparency of capital right until we see Julian Assange released and WikiLeaks kick into full production, like really, and platforms like it kick into full production. And we really find out, not that we don't know now, we know almost everything we need to know of how corporations and centralized power and the technocrats run our societies, right? Nikki Hickey, I went to a friend's house. Chicho, I went to a friend's house last weekend and tried a few different brands of vodka for liquor making. It was fun. We played guitar, sang, song, sang some songs, listened to some tunes. It was a wonderful day, and we were pretty uh, unanimous in that uh, Koskovoska vodka was the best. That's the Russian one, the green label, isn't it? Do you think that the election might be postponed due to COVID-19? No, I don't think so, Toby. Uh, Chicho, if you and that, by the way, Nikki Hickey sounds like an awesome time. <laughs> Maybe we'll time it for another uh, DJ six, six and a half hour live stream set. Uh, VC, if you don't mind me asking, do you consider yourself an adherent to anarchism? There's certain aspects of anarchism I do appreciate, which is called localized. Um, you build your communities, right? Decentralized power uh, where capital cannot decide what people can think, eat, drink, talk about, do in large part, as long as it's not hurting anyone, right? Labor Labels aren't ideal, but anarchism is essentially a school of thought. I'm interested in your influence when it comes to political philosophy. Well, political philosophy, I've taken little bits of everything, right? Like Chomsky considers, considers himself an anarchist. I like Chomsky. I've listened to uh, Howard Zinn a lot right um the, like it, politics governs every aspect of our lives right like people people say oh i don't want to talk politics but politics is in everything right like it decides what people are allowed to eat it decides what people are allowed to think talk about consume right so do all those people that say politics i don't want to talk politics they don't really realize that politics governs everything one of the reasons that they a lot of people will say they don't want to talk about politics is because they have very strong opinions about political discourse in their country wherever they are so they don't want to rock the boat they don't want to reveal their cards right so you have to come across if you come across people like that you have a come you have to come across in a way that you're accepting an understanding of different ways of being right so um yeah certain tendencies t t socialism libertarian uh tribalism all of them have very beautiful philosophies uh in them right why can't we take the best of all of them and put them together and create a new world right but a not a new world order if you know what i mean mobs bring down righteous might divine smite and anger <laughs> nice nice i'm gonna scroll down gang i'm way behind in chat oh yeah look at that oof, oof, oof. huckleberry chicho ain't nothing quote ain't nothing but a bunch of uh democrisp and Republicans, red states versus blue states. Which one you are you governing? Quote <laughs> Kendrick Lamar is that one? Is that nice? Nice lyrics. Sleepy waves. How is the two trillion dollar the U.S. just printed going to lower your spending power? Do you think the housing bubble is going to crash? Uh, it it depends. Sleepy waves. And they didn't uh, 
how's it going how's it going to lower your spending power they didn't give me two trillion dollars did they give you two trillion did you get any of that two trillion dollars i don't own any stock in the stock market do you own any stock in this are you getting dividends from boeing <laughs> right did you did you did, did you get it any of the any of the cut it? and it's not two trillion it's more like six to ten trillion did you get any of that i didn't get any of that so you know what i spend is what i make i don't get handouts from the government right or from the technocrats scrolling down scrolling down the scarlet phoenix how are you doing where do you think bitcoin is headed after after the having bitcoin is a funny thing right yeah it's controlled by a few majority of the chunk of bitcoin right uh it's mainly a trading instrument right now right there aren't people you know spending too many bitcoins to acquire products it's more like the stock market you're trading a stock right so i can i can just tell you from my experience i've done bitcoin videos i've had bitcoin donate bitcoin and stuff like this there isn't too much bitcoins that have come my way and that's the same with many other people right so people are hoarding bitcoins that is not the purpose of bitcoin the purpose of bitcoin is to be an instrument of trade so people are hoarding bitcoin because they know its scarcity is limited right so every time it's going to have after a certain period and it's going to be less and less of it around and stuff like this so it's, it's a collectible really right so it's a trading instrument for collectibles it's not something i'm interested in i collect comic books i put more value in comic books than i do in bitcoin right however it doesn't mean bitcoin is not a legitimate uh, trading instrument right but that's exactly what i want to use it for i want to use it for for a trading instrument like i do work online i, I have yet to have someone contact me and say hey chicho i'm willing to build you a gigantic website with a database have hosting all your videos on there where you can talk about whatever you want right where you won't be censored up the yin yang we'll create all this stuff just pay me in bitcoins right i have yet to have anyone contact me in regards to that and i've been in bitcoin for 10 years 10 years right my apologies it's just a joke of it right so bitcoin has been hijacked in large part right where is it going to go is it going to go continue to go up wall street's got his hands and in the pot right things that wall street has their hands on they corrupt right so as soon as the twin brothers came into bitcoin i pulled out i don't i don't like their blood right i refuse to participate in their systems okay and the two twins i forget their names uh joe blow and joe blow schmuck and dingling dumb and dumber uh idiot and bigger idiot uh gross and grosser <laughs> who are those people i forget their names <laughs> myself and chicho are drummers former also former ripper from but i've never done uh wrestling uh i'm going down gang okay gang i went all the way down to the bottom okay i'm sorry if i missed anything but if there's anything directed towards me please let me know okay mods thank you for taking care of business really by the way if anybody is on here that has troll tendencies right we're being harsh with trolls we're being gentle before right right now we're being a little bit harsh so if you're if you want to play a little bit of games and have fun and stuff like this i say you come back maybe in a couple of months where things have calmed down a little bit right uh and if you want to hang around fantastic hang around because slowly if you're hanging around you might decide to not troll twitch streams and youtube channels and all these things that's weak that's weak why don't you go after power and capital start trolling capital why not troll wall street do a little good do a little good it'll make you feel good it'll make you feel powerful right troll technocrats right don't troll your allies 
because we are allies we're the same right to be fair some streamers do that love that i think uh, i like your politics huckleberry mask of raven says ori soldier chicho may i ask about your political view uh with which ideology or however you call it do you align with uh if i may ask of course uh it's it, dude go to my website go to my website uh ori uh, soldier go to my website i have written about politics since 2006 2005 2006 i have articles there that pretty much tell you what i think where i lean uh i believe in decentralization right taking power away from oligarchs and technocrats and monarchies and monopolies right what's the topic today uh current events and everything else what did he even say was hannah chicho i'm taking a ferry to explore a new area i've been uh, depressed lady but going out and exploring does me good for my mental health going to kingston washington today awesome hannah good f good on you man right figure out a way to deal with the stress of the world and your free human being right by the way <laughs> this is the last piece of lemon meringue pie and it's a gigantic piece this is what I'm gonna munch on. Right. Gotta pop one of these, gang. Gotta pop one. Right, look at that thing. Beautiful. Ding bobber. Since you're all the way down, those beavers near my house, nice. I've seen two adults and a baby. You saw a baby beaver also saw a heron st um, stalking just above the oh <gasps> herons will eat will they eat the baby baby beaver herons eat almost anything that's super cool though you saw a baby beaver i've never seen a baby beaver i've seen beavers during my geophysics days i saw lots of wildlife right but i've never seen a baby beaver i'd like to see a baby beaver autistic chicho people probably ask you this a thousand times but would you have voted for bernie sanders would i have voted for bernie sanders it was a choice between bernie and trump would i have voted for bernie no because it was democrat right democrats get, I, I would never vote for the democratic party or republican party no okay no i didn't make the sleepy waves i bought it from a bakery it's a very delicious very delicious uh, lemon meringue pie the pie is back it's the last piece it's the last piece no we ate a lemon meringue pie in two days and it was a big one it was fantastic oh look at this i gotta be careful with this oh i'm gonna do this too hold on a second listen to the sound of the meringue very good Ding bother, Chicho. The baby beaver is too large for a heron, I think. Okay, cool. I scared the baby off the bank of the creek and he dove right into the water. Nice. ASMR food, Spider Man. I'm back down the bottom, gang. Okay. I didn't see anything in regards to Chicho, so I scrolled down. The sound of pie makes me smile. <laughs> nice me too rubbing velcro yeah it's it's this this bakery is does a fantastic job mm. 
Poppin' pie, poppin' pie. I've only been here for 60 seconds, but you look and vibe make me think of Serge Tankian. Yeah. I'll do this. Do you like System Over Down? Go to DuckDuckGo and do Chicho System Over Down. I wrote a review of System Over Down, uh, Down's music in 2006. It's one of the first articles I wrote. I'm very proud of that review. Graham Chicho, have you watched uh, Bu Bu Miles? He does project-based videos and documentary style. And that's kind of what I want to do in the future, I think. No, I've never watched it, uh, Graham. I'll link it up uh, in our Discord. I'll take a look. What are you sitting on, Chicho? I'm sitting on a chair. <laughs> what is this? I would do unspeakable things to eat a coconut and <laughs> cream pie right now. <laughs> That's funny. I'll go berry. I'm also, Hannah, I'm also adhering to cha da da da. No rice pasta or bread either. Oh no. Uh, Ding bobber. Chicho, I told you a while ago I plant the tree in the green space where the beavers are. Yeah, you did. This summer I, I'm planting some um, uh, sunflowers for the birds and a new tree. I have yet to choose any suggestions um where are you located is it do you get lots of rain sunflowers are amazing by the way and they'll propagate right they should i like um what do you call it uh, my favorite tree is uh, arbutus the one that the skin peels off but they're very it, in my area, we have our beautiful trees. I don't know if it'll grow where you are. My favorite vegetable. A favorite vegetable. Potatoes, I guess. I eat a lot of potatoes. I like potatoes. What is our beverage right now? Tea. Just straight up tea and lemon meringue pie. I got water too, but tea and lemon meringue pie. Can't beat that. For me, it's polar black cherry seltzer. Wow. With a shot of black cherry vodka dropped in. Wow. <laughs> you know for taste. <laughs> Southern Ontario. Oh, I know Southern Ontario. I've been there. Oh, dude, ding bobber, I have the perfect tree for you to plant in southern Ontario. When I was in southern Ontario, I lived there for five years, six years in Ontario. Mulberry trees grow in southern Ontario. Plant a mulberry tree, okay, and plant the, in Iranian, they call it shatut. It means the king, king mulberries. I don't know. The Iranian mulberries maybe they call them but mulberries will grow in southern Ontario mulberries and man when a mulberry tree starts giving fresh fruit remember where it is and if you want to blow people's mind someone you care about maybe your partner lifelong partner whoever it is take them to the mulberry tree when it's the fruits are ripe and pick mulberries from the tree and eat them you will be in heaven okay you will be in heaven mulberry tree mulberry tree you've lost 20 pounds you've you're going uh, no carbs hannah autistic chicho i don't know if you uh, are a movie series person but have you seen the movie shawshank yeah i have it's a great movie. Mulberry it is. Oh, ding bobber, dude. Awesome. Mulberry trees are grand. They're magnificent. I hope it takes root. Mulberry, mulberry. I don't really trust concentrated power to be uh, to be or remain 
enlightened. No. Concentrated power won't be because it's easy to hijack, right? Like you could have a lot of amazing people that form in an organization, they acquire a lot of power, and they get a lot of say in how society functions, right? Now, all of those amazing people have a lifespan that is shorter than most or not most but a lot of corporations and a lot of institutions and a lot of governments right some of the oldest institutions in the world are universities right just imagine how much power they wield right it might have started off with good intentions but those people died off right and then capital came in and hijacked the thing right look at the handouts the two to ten trillion dollars of handouts that were just given out like two months ago or a month ago to wall street right they were some of the largest wealthiest universities in the world in the united states that signed up to get millions of dollars meanwhile they were laying off stuff and not like it's crazy okay decentralization is the name of the game really right now what we need to do is decentralize the world right and people say what laws would you pass what laws like if i was running a government right I, i've yet to see this actually ron paul said it a while ago right i think when he was running in the mid 2000s or something right or it was part of congress myself. he goes one of the things that like i would vote for if there was a party that came up and said our main platform is this when we get into power we're going to bring all the laws that are on the books and we're going to start repealing laws crossing them out this law is garbage tear it off garbage tear it off tear it off all right just imagine all the laws that are on the books right now with all the laws in the books right now in every country in the world we are all criminals all of us there is a there isn't a single one of us that is not a criminal you should see some of those ridiculous laws that are on the books what they use to prosecute people throw them in jail right the whole like it, it's just a complete mess right mess for us complete control for the technocrats and the old oligarchs and the monarchies and the institutions right that's what in my opinion needs to happen okay that's what needs to happen i like it there's lots of discussion taking place i'm just sad that i can't participate in all the discussion i'll participate in the ones that are directed towards me more That's marzipan there too. That's papa pie. Oh, look at that joke. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Nate, what up, Chicho and Chad? Hello, Nate. How are you doing? resubscribe that sounds so good what is that thing directed really charity i don't know what that is oh player hater. oh yeah that guy <laughs> i don't think he's gonna come back <laughs> elder god <laughs> remember player hater from uh, our last uh, political live stream i don't think he he realized wh where he had stepped <laughs> into <laughs> i thought that was hilarious and we accepted him with open arms just had to lay it on after realized he was just being a dingbot i had an insanely vivid dream of a vast underground prison with stone walls lined with cells i was being brought in i hadn't done any wrong though kind of like what you were talking about ding bobber and if we're not careful that's the direction 
uh, some of our societies are going into, right? Black holes are going to disappear people in. Now, it's not out of the question. People need to be aware, right? Chicho, maybe you should put the chat in slow mode. One minute chat for every uh, for everyone. Um, as long as it's going okay, I don't, I don't know. If the mods want to, gang, mods, if you need to put chat in slow-mo, put it in slow-mo. If I miss anything and it's a discussion that was directed towards me, please just repost it and hopefully I'll catch it, right? Um, I'm, the mods are taking care of business here, gang, right? And we appreciate it greatly because there's no way we could have this discussion Uh here if they weren't here okay chicho i also absolutely agree about decentralization and to and to sidebar we the u.s also needs to decentralize 100 percent ripper and u.s needs to decentralize like almost on the same level as china and the, the power that is that is concentration of power in both these countries are very equivalent right like really people don't seem to grasp this they think the united states is free it's not right gtg mode whenever someone talks to me about politics i switch it over to the playoffs who won the playoffs i have no idea <laughs> which playoffs uh, sporting events is pure politics really it's just it, sporting events got hijacked a long time ago right are they talking about having a tracking app for phones in canada what do you think of the idea of that i think is horrendous i think that's that's a leads down a dark dark road uh cat a caterpillaring i think that's that's disgusting we need anonymity we need privacy right elder god thank you for taking care of business <laughs> enabled 60 seconds slow mode for this room nice how old should children be before you start letting them know that the information is out there they need only seek it my cousin is 10 and is very absorbed in video games etc if he's playing video games your cousin ding bobber he probably knows more about paul depending on what he's playing he probably know, knows more about how the world functions than people who've been watching cnn for 40 years straight up so how how young does a kid have to be before you can tell him how the world is run and how to avoid the pitfalls and the traps as young as young as they can absorb the information i've had i've had discussions with some of my students with the approval of their parents explaining to them what the economic system is about that were like nine years old ten years old a nine-year-old a ten-year-old is capable of understanding a great deal more than what the centralized education system feeds them one of the reasons our centralized education system is so horrendous because it treats children as idiots, right? And the kids aren't idiots. They're brilliant, really. They're absolutely brilliant, right? But because the people in power, the, the bureaucrats, the technocrats, they don't want to give up that power, right? They're invested in the system, right? They need to see this, this grow, right their wealth grow they're invested in the system so they don't they can't relate to people who want freedom right because they grew up as slaves and they're participating in that system right so decentralized education is one of the main main things that needs to be done feed the kids information kuwait is where it's at good place us is the real term. kuwait no man Kuwait is just a satellite little land that's governed by the UK and the United States. At any moment, it could go boop, right? And no, I, I would I have no desire to uh, to be rubbing shoulders with the monarchies of the Gulf states. Uh, they could all of a sudden say, hey, we don't like you, off with your head. Why would you want to live in a place that they could chop your head off? throw you in jail for 30 50 100 years 
without without a peep right never live in a place where you don't have freedom and if you're thinking about moving to a place make sure if you're moving to another country or another state or another province or wherever you are make sure you're moving up in the world which means you're moving to a place where you get more freedom you have more freedom than where you live right that's what the real name of the game is right spider-man chicho truth sports or not paul sports are pure politics now unfortunately right huckleberry chicho americans talk about how in the dprk and dprc people are subjected to horrific propaganda from birth so korea and c china i guess uh from birth but don't recognize the horror of forcing youth to pledge their allegiance to their nations every day hand on heart yeah uh huckleberry uh the propaganda level in korea i consider it to in the centralized education system i consider it the same as in the united states or as in canada or as in china or as in anywhere else in the world right the the indoctrination the programming the the destruction of the human spirit is on the same level look at like as soon as you see flags of a nation flying in every household with people having flags of their nation on their cars and everywhere you know you it, you live in a very very dangerous place okay ducks vix tricks hey chicho do you think that the pr production of a variety of products and materials based in china and other south asian countries will be affected by the cv outbreak going on for sure i think so is there any possibility of decentralization regarding the worldwide production of commodities yes there is i think that's where we're headed now if people are smart about it if your communities are smart about it one of the things that people constantly ask me is oh what can we do to change things right the one thing you can do is you make you can make sure that your community your region is sustainable that means you have to have food security within your communities okay legit food security not your supermarket stocked with food because those supermarkets if the supply chain is cut are out of food within three to five days right done Boop. okay where are you going to get your food food security means in your communities in your regions you have farms growing you have agriculture happening you have whatever type of animals being raised for consumption if you you believe in those things you have uh people who are growing chickens that you can have protein eggs you have fruit tree setups orchard setups you have bakeries happening you have processing uh places where you can get dairy produce yogurt cheese butter and all this stuff food security is the name of the game right we start with food security once the centralized power does not control the food supply of a nation then that nation is one step closer to becoming decentralized right at the same time that you're doing the food you need to decentralize the education system there is no way a curriculum in canada is different right in canada the school system is province-based right better than the united states where they were doing federal it's state wise but i think the federal government was pushing common core i don't think common core is in existence anymore but versions of it are right and all these monopolies control all the textbooks of a nation and stuff like this and my like oh, holy camoles man read richard Feynman's uh uh article that he wrote in the 1960s when it was part of the school board in california looking at the books that were being published and millions upon hundreds, tens of hundreds of millions of dollars were being spent to buy these garbage textbooks to give to the kids to do this stuff look into how the california school board spent how much 100 million dollars to buy ipads for people or something for schools it was garbage it's just like it makes it makes your head spin the amount of corruption in these centralized institutions right and i think it uh, 
that's where we're headed by the way there's going to be more local stuff being built there's going to be lots of mergers and acquisitions this isn't going to happen overnight by the way this is going to take a few years to roll out okay uh, i'm scrolling down gang uh just to see if there's anything uh directed towards me canada's fee feels like trudeau has a pretty firm uh, death grip uh was us uh, i didn't say canada was free completely free uh i didn't mention that okay i didn't state that canada has some serious problems here okay would you say british columbia canada is one of the most free places to live one of the most relative to where right one of the freest places to live as far as i've looked into in the western world is iceland right because they took and i i based this on what happened after the 2008 financial crap collapse in the united states and in, in europe in canada what they did they gave money to the bankers that pulled a scam that collapsed the global economy and then for the next 12 years, they took all that money and siphoned it through Wall Street. And now they need trillions of dollars more, right? No bankers were put in jail in the United States or Canada. Not legitimate anyway, right? Uh, the main players, right? In Iceland, they took some of the bankers and put them in jail. Hell yeah, right? They, they were safe haven for WikiLeaks. Hell yeah. They were being transparent through the government. Hell yeah. I'm looking for Chicho uh, just to read, okay? Huckleberry, Masco Raymond Chicho. We worship the men who built this country as new gods, even though they did it on the backs of slaves and with the bones and blood of indigenous people. Huckleberry, 100% agree, all right? Keep this in mind, though, right? Their understanding, their psyche, their social programming the the discussion of equality of other human beings they didn't even have that in their dialogue right like lgbt community th there is no such thing back then right like what did they do to the lgbt community right what did they do to women who wanted to vote who wanted to form companies like the whole psyche was so twisted back then a lot of people daydream about the past oh we wish we went back to the i go you wish you went back to the past are you crazy do you know what people did to other people in the 1960s there were doctors driving around the united states convincing parents to give lobotomies to their kids because they were misbehaving imagine like literally they would they would do this in house or in clinics or something <laughs> they would bring their kids in oh my kids are misbehaving well we can fix them they put a metal rod through their eyes in the thing and they go Boop, hit it with a hammer and give them a lobotomy and the kid would walk on his behaving because he lost all his emotion L look into it in the 1960s the u.s government conducted experiments on towns and their own citizens not that they're not doing it right now right so we have to take things I'm, I sort of went off on a little thing there uh Huckleberry but we do have to put things into context as well right there are the United States was built by slave owners and on genocide there's no doubt about it anyone that disagrees with that does has learned knows nothing about history right knows nothing about history we have to acknowledge that right we have to acknowledge it and do much, much, much better, right? Ripper, USA has turned patriotism into capitalism. One hundred for Ripper. I couldn't agree more, right? We have bought our we have bought our freedom. Nah, it's ridiculous. Common Core is absolutely still in effect in forty one states. It's still in effect in forty one states. Damn, that's horrendous, Graham. That's horrendous. Anuj, how are you doing? Chicho, Bear is trying to enter my country and giving seeds to farmers for free. Yeah, you, you're in India. They're, I believe Anuj, right? And they've been trying to do this. They did this under the umbrella of Monsanto, where, what was it, 100,000 farmers were committing suicide in India uh, a year or something like this? Uh, horrendous. Bear, Monsanto, and all those 
huge pharma companies that have gone into the seed business and food because they want to control the population. You control their food supply, right? In Ohio too, Huckleberry. So 41 states still have Common Core full active. Man, disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, slow mode disabled. Cool. Thanks, Elder God. You're on top of this thing like mad. Nate, Chicho, when did you first start discovering the centralized power and media are phony and misleading? Uh, the first time I realized the media was phony, I, I realized it early. Okay, 1978, 79, 1980, when I was like 10, 11 years old. And the only reason I realized this, right, is... I immigrated from Iran to Canada and at the time I was a kid right so I didn't really understand the politics at play right and I barely I didn't speak English I went around thinking how are you man hello so I would go around saying how are you how are you how are you <laughs> right but during that time there was an Iran US hostage crisis right and the media the news networks because my parents would watch news and stuff i'd be watching those and they would be showing these things about iran and slowly i would learn learn the english and i realized what they were saying and i realized they we're lying like they're saying things about the, where i just came from as a 10 year old i knew they were lying right so i was lucky i discovered early on that mainstream corporate propaganda is exactly that is corporate propaganda centralized power the other centralization of things i realized uh, one of the biggest ones was at the end of 1990 uh, 1990s going into the tech bubble bursting right when all of a sudden the federal reserve raised interest rates like eight times in a matter of less than a year sometimes two few times two basis points ba, 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 ba. all of a sudden everyone that was <laughs> indebted borrowed cheap money their payments tripled all of a sudden they're like what and they forced bankruptcies up the yin yang right right another one in regards to war was the first gulf war right when i watched like many other people cnn live streaming murder and massacre right and at the time first gulf war in the early 1990s through bush senior everybody was pro-war like you, you have to appreciate this for the first gulf war right 99 percent of the population in canada and the united states were pro-war okay not 80 percent not say 99 percent i remember going to an peace rally anti-war rally where we were me and five other people were against the war in our university we we're going no war like why were you guys crazy why are we going to war that we had university students tell us we're idiots right we need to go to war right there i realized oh my god it like brainwashed up the yin yang i and i would have discussions with people at you know your university you have a lot of social gathering you go and i talk to these people i look at them i try to look behind their eyes to see if there was any life in there right and then when they would you can tell if they're propagandized programmed right when you talk to someone they don't really know what they're saying what the repercussions of their words are look look at people in their eyes and then try to look behind look into their soul and you realize it's empty in regards to that specific topic right then you find out wow you that see this you're actually a free human being and they're npcs oh oh what enlightening very brilliant very liberating jazzy how are you doing miss me Missed my comment about the tracking app already released in Australia. So many downloads. Oh, and they are still pushing it. No regard to security or privacy apart from trust us. Oh, J Josie, I've read some stuff in Australia. Some of the things I've been doing. Man, horrendous. 
And I've, I, I gave up on Australia, by the way, in regards to how the political system was going. And I gave up on Australia. I knew it was going full on draconian when they were in the early 2000s. Um, they passed laws regarding um, uh, what animated characters could do. I don't want to go into the details because this is going to, this video is going to be loaded on YouTube, so we don't want to get zinged on it. But look into Australia, what they did in the early 2000s, mid-2000s, passing laws into what people could consume and in terms of entertainment and stuff like this. And I went, and it passed. I was like, oh, my God. And it was consuming online and whatnot. They basically made everyone in Japan illegal. <laughs> they would, every Japanese not every but let's say 80 percent of japanese right consume anime and manga they read manga and anime you can call it comic books manga but comic books right it's a, one of the main forms of entertainment majority of those anime manga and anime would be illegal in australia back in the mid 2000s or so the laws that they passed so i just went wow I, that's crazy yeah anuj the lobotomies were gi being given to kids in the United States in uh, all the way into the 1960s, I believe. How could we totally agree? Forced sterilization was considered acceptable for years and years and years. Yeah, up to 1960s, forced sterilization. I've got to head out. Spider-Man, I hope you have a fantastic day. You're speaking truth, Chicho. Take care, chat. Take care, Spider-Man. Chicho, I think we underestimate our children so much. We wonder why there is an uptick in anxiety, depression, etc. And don't consider that it might be because the centralized institutions are forcing crap down their throats. And they and the kids know it's crap, right? I only pray that they are not uh, only smart, but strong and stand together with their new collective consciousness, so to speak, to take the powers um, that be down. Uh, Ding Bobber, some are. There's a lot of kids that are being traumatized through what's happening to them. Okay, that's one reason I'm very adamant about, about, about this decentralization of education and providing as much help as I can from my end because there's a lot of kids that are being lost, and that's going to put a serious burden on our societies in terms of finances, crime, just chaos, right? Do you think about Bill Gates and his involvement with... Yeah, for sure. I don't really think about it too much because Gates is... <laughs> like, I've, I had my opinion about Bill Gates in the 1990s. If you if you were involved with the internet, I've been online since late 1980s, right? So 1990s, really, 1980s, 1990s, you knew what Microsoft was. You knew what Apple was too, but there was this illusion of Apple being providing freedom and stuff like that. And in the 1990s, it became clear that Steve Jobs and Bill Gates were the same. You know. <laughs> so Bill Gates is what Bill Gates is. He hasn't changed, right? Just because he wears like a pink sweater and comes on TV now? <laughs> like, seriously. Or who is it? He wears a green sweater? ripper uh chicho anyone i meet in the wrestling world who is not from the u.s who asks what it's like in the u.s i always suggest they watch paul verk verhoven's 1987 original robocop movie uh what was satire in 1987's version of the future in 2020 is reality especially in relation to the uh, to detroit where the movie takes place side note amazing movie amazing movie robocop by the way and i saw it in the theater when it first came out right robocop is a fantastic movie and we're on that we're there really right and and there was more honest police in the robocop police forces than there are now in certain parts of the world okay mask of raven definitely most positive things nations do that i recall happened because of internal movements of motivated citizens yeah really it if people are looking from top down uh 
improvement in our societies, you're looking in the wrong place. Okay. Any place that says, give us power and we'll, we'll, we'll fix everything is lying to you. Okay. Lark, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Welcome to another last stream. I'm all the way down to the bottom. Ripper, in relation to the lobotomy piece, this was talked about in the late 1990s thriller session nine session nine what an amazing movie ripper i can't believe you're mentioning it takes place in a former asylum that was that was used to lobotomize china ripper session nine my hair still stands up right i've watched that movie three times once i watched it solo and i was like oh creep out like oh so scary and then two other times i watched it with people i said look you like scary movie you gotta watch this right and it's not a slasher movie it's a psychological thriller and what a phenomenal movie if you want to be scared out of your wits session nine is it okay <laughs> bill gates wears sweaters in summers <laughs> that's because he has no skin he's he's, he's a lizard <laughs> I swear, <laughs> Smith says I wear sweaters in the summer. I am Bill Gates. <laughs> Too funny. Elon Musk tweeted like crazy Tuesdays. Yeah, I read some of that stuff, Anuj. I don't trust Elon Musk either, by the way. Elon Musk is the one that's sending hundreds of satellites into space to <laughs> watch over humanity. And he's worried about AI taking over the world. Dude, stop sending us satellites up there. Maybe AI won't take over the world, right? Ding bobber petition to make up the yin yang a chat uh counter like boop boop what what petition to make make quote up the yin, <laughs> up the yin yang. okay ding bobber if you post it on our discord i'll make a command for that i didn't realize i use it that much a chat counter like boop to <laughs> done deal ding bobber you gotta send me a reminder though brother okay I can't do scary films. Why do people want to be scared? I, I personally don't do scary movies anymore. The reality is scary enough for me right now. Not that I'm scared. Seriously, I'm not scared. I, I, I see a lot of positive happening in the world. And there is. There is amazing positive. This is what we're doing right now is positive, right? It's amazing. The technocrats are trying to shut us down. Even though we're on a technocratic platform, it hasn't hit. Censorship hasn't hit here yet regarding these topics. It has on youtube we're still gonna load it on youtube by the way right i'm being careful right to a certain degree okay. funny mix silva how are you doing hey chicho hope all is well doing good brother thank you very much eduardo oh man my torrent downloader is working now love out loud robocop 1987 and session nine oh, eduardo i hope you love them session nine Woo. And Robocop is amazing. Lizards have been spotted. Lizards have been spotted. <laughs> yeah, they are planning uh, on sending 30,000 more satellites in space. Yeah, this Starlink satellite stuff is so scary. So scary, right? And people still, that's the kicker, right? People still go, Ellen, Elon Musk, Elon Musk is great. I go, what are you guys talking about? He's on the same level as Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and all those Jeff Bezos, right? He's just portraying himself as being in this light, but he's pushing towards complete technocratic control of the globe, right? We have to push back, right? That means don't praise them. The genius in Session 9 and Chicho Live can back this, is that nothing actually happens. And I mean that in the positive in the most positive way possible fantastic yeah ripper same here i feel positive as well as happy yeah yeah lark seriously i think this is a great awakening that we're witnessing right now a huge like that is a huge positive as an as an educator someone who's been working with teaching mathematics for 20 years one of the best things that can happen when i'm interacting with kids is they wake up they realize there's something wrong 
As soon as that happens, feed them information, feed them information, feed them information, <laughs> right? That is fantastic. That is one reason we're doing this. That's one reason I'm going pretty hardcore with this stuff. There's a huge awakening right now. Feed it information, feed it information, right? Counter the propaganda. Wazis. What do you think about the banning of the recent documentary out of the shadows? I think it's horrendous. Did they ban it? Did they took it off YouTube? Crazy. I don't agree with all of it. I watched half of it, right? I know uh, I know all of that stuff. I've been following that stuff since the 1990s. If you're online, you knew all that stuff, right? So I watched about half of it. I went, okay, you know, I didn't agree with some of it at the beginning, right? Uh, but I don't think it should have been banned. I didn't realize it was taken off. Elon Musk has now thrown away a lot of his credibility by tweeting all this, his BS opinion of COVID. Yeah, Elon Musk is, is noise in large part, right? He's, he's a distraction. He's a manic depressant, right? That's, I don't know him personally, but just he, he portrays that thing. Have you ever seen, you know, have you guys watched comedy acts? right you have the comedy acts that are political that are uh, about the social structures and all this stuff and you know they're shallow and whatnot but you have comedy uh comedians that come on stage and they're the depressed ones right they loathe themselves and they 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 make fun of themselves and stuff like this right Elon musk is playing a role that's what he is right and people attach themselves to that right don't attach yourself to these technocrats that's one of the worst things you could do. Have you seen they live for sure with Roddy Piper? Yeah, Gina, they live. How many times have I seen they live? I don't know, like seven times. They live, by the way, Eduardo, you you on Torrent? <laughs> they live. Watch they live. If you've never, everybody here, if you've never seen they live, watch they live in an incredibly, incredibly important movie. And hello, Gina, how are you doing? Ding Bobber, Chicho, Ripper. As one of my favorite artists once said, quote, might as well be dense in the in the head, end quote. Then one of his chaos, then, then none of this chaos would really be happening. Who said that, Ding Bobber? Johnny Kapla, this new form of Abdullah, no, I haven't okay i'm scrolling down Elon musk is just another union busting billionaire yeah scarlet Phoenix. i don't you know and this is from a guy me that in you know there's times where i've gone to the stock market or i've advised people onto what stocks they should buy or managed a little bit of their funds and stuff like this for someone i bought tesla stock for them not for myself but I bought Tesla stock for them when Tesla was trading at $25 back in 2010, 2011, right? Okay. So I've been following Musk since Tesla came onto the scene, right? Don't attach yourself to Musk. Damn Atlas. Damn Atlas said that. I don't know them atlas i'm all out of bubble gum <laughs> river <laughs> oh is that uh they live is that uh, is something from they live that rings a bell emotionally driven rapper them atlas a uh, ding bobber share it on our discord please there's a lot of music being shared it's fantastic tesla stock 750 dollars yeah and i'm still tracking tesla stock by the way tesla stock hit 960 dollars and then it collapsed back down to around 400 500 and now 750 again right traders dream right now the only musk i like is the brute aftershave my grandpa wore in the 1980s <laughs> carefully i'm all out of booze soon oh no graham could you make liqueur out of apple pie filling Apple pie filling would be, uh, I would just recommend. I've done it with cinnamon sticks. And like when I make applesauce, I put cinnamon sticks uh, in the apple, right? In the, 
and the pots right so whenever i do that i take the cinnamon sticks and put them in jars and pour vodka on it right so that becomes my cinnamon apple flavored liqueur it's more cinnamony right i do i have apple i don't have apple liqueur what dude graham i gotta make some apple liqueur um i don't know if i would take the filling because the filling it breaks down you would have a lot of uh, uh particulate matter right i would use the fruit uh, and if you do have the particulate matter just let the liqueur don't shake the like shake the liqueur initially right make sure all the sugar is uh, dissolved and then let the liqueur sit and then what you'll see is the particular stuff just going down and you're going to get the clear liqueur up top but why not for sure you could ripper chicho i've come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass and i'm all out of bubble gum <laughs> yes sir from they live yeah that's what it rang a bell that's right what a fantastic movie i gotta watch that i haven't seen it for like probably four years i gotta watch it again i watch they live every couple of years uh two two to four years i watch it again and again and again and again right they live is one of the greatest films ever made and john carpenter is an amazing filmmaker yeah i agree lark amazing storyteller and builds a connection between you and uh, the the actors right it's fantastic that motor figure finger for me Ch -ch -ch. tesla accelerated the transition to electric but its original founder founders were pushed out by musk when he became C ceo scarlet phoenix yeah ballard uh power uh batteries from vancouver was one of the first ones that came out and mercedes bought them but then they i'm pretty sure they just shelved most of the projects that they were putting out which is very unfortunate right Ch -ch -ch. greetings dr p how are you doing greetings greetings mick silva chicho question have you ever dealt with cancer of a loved one yes uh i only ask because i'm uh, practically begging for any advice as my father was diagnosed with advanced lung and liver cancer this week they gave him three months possibly extended with chemo so my world has been turned upside down uh mick silva look uh, my brother passed away of cancer okay and that was when i was in my early mid 20s right so he passed away when he was he was my older brother two years difference he passed away when he was 26 years old right heavy 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 uh, you're about to go through through some huge humongous humongous changes it'll shatter you it'll shatter your family you have to be able to let the explosion explode but let the let the noise disappear right really stay focused on the individual within the family right realize that uh there are people you care about that will be a part of your life forever right no matter what so be very kind be careful with your words right make sure everyone understands that you care for each other and you're in this battle together okay whatever the doctors tell you take with a grain of salt do your own research there is a thing that i can tell you about uh, dealing with this type of situation regular medical treatments can extend life they can also at the same time uh not only not extend life but make whatever life you have left miserable right because radiation and chemotherapy have serious side effects radiation more than chemotherapy well it depends type of radiation you have so just be aware that this is a hurricane that has come come to you and the only thing you can hang on to is your family okay forget about finances in large part like seriously take whatever i'm saying with a grain of salt okay um i don't 
you know, if you have more questions, more specific questions, let me know. I'm just letting you know that things are about to shift dramatically. Do the right thing, right? Don't have regrets. If your family needs you there, be there for them. Uh, realize that when it's said and done, right, you make sure you can look back at this time with pride. Okay. And let me find your video I put out. Let me find this. Ba, 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 ba. Chicho, hold on. Chicho, how to deal with grief. Now, this is in relation. I put out a video in, I don't know when this was. I put out a video in uh, 2016. Some advice for those who have lost loved ones. And, and I realize you guys just got diagnosed. No one's passed away or anything like this. But this is something that... Uh, I decided to share, which I thought was important to share. Okay, so watch this video. Um, there is some advice there regarding what you're going to go through right now and and whatnot. If you have any more questions, come to our Discord or just message me. Okay. Caterpillar Chicho, I'm disgusted. Not really. You don't know uh, Soundgarden. Oh, I know Soundgarden, but I never really listened to Soundgarden too much. I I was more into hard, right? I like I Soundgarden. I I didn't listen to too much alternative rock or indie rock, right? I'm more into full power or total psychedelic music or the type of electronic music we listened to before on our uh, six and a half hour live stream right ding bobber me and my aunt and my cousin are planting a tree every year until we die and i hope to pass it on to others in the family if not my own children the next one will be a mulberry oh something bobber a, a tree every year and then and a cornelian cherries too oh, <laughs> cornelian cherries <laughs> river did you read john carpenter's dc uh joker book last year no i didn't read it fantastic was it red fantastic red with some great art that reminded me of the old ec stuff oh really ripper i didn't get a chance to read it no i didn't even pick it up unfortunately so much that needs to be picked up limited on funds Yes, this is also a great comic series that Chicho showed off in a hall. Wait a second, which one? Wow, didn't know that. Did I get, wait a second? Did I buy John Carpenter's DC Joker? Uh, hold on, I'm missing something. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Rosemary's Baby is fantastic too. Old bread, oldie bread. Ripper. I'm sorry to hear about your uh, thanks, Ripper. Peace and love to both. Peace and love to everyone, right? Thanks, Ripper. It it was it was one of the worst things to happen, and one of the most important things to happen in my life, right? If at the time the most important thing that had happened in my life, it, it's on the same category as every other the important things that's happened in my life. There's only a handful of the most important things. That have happened in my life right uh, but i learned a lot from there right really empowering once you get hot hit so hard uh and you come back from that man you can't be hit that hard again you can but you can take it right and even if you fall down you come back a lot more stronger and a lot faster so take it with uh, take it take it as it is it's life right you have to deal with it i heard cbd oil does wonders for cancer patients yes Anuj. and by the way uh mick uh cbd oils cannabis uh for controlling if there's radiation chemotherapy nausea increasing appetite uh making sure you get sleep and stuff like this look into cannabis okay if you're going to go down that real road of uh, um, conventional treatments then cannabis has to be look i've looked into this enough it has to be one 
everything else that's built on it has to be cannabis as the foundation of it okay it, it has to be okay but again take everything i say with a grain of salt i'm scrolling down gang i have always tried to be there but now i realize all we ever have uh, that are truly special to us is moments and memories so i'm staying strong for my mother and brother i always had discussions with myself in the past imagining the future without my parents but i shut that out because it has just seemed like an impossible circumstance just so lost i appreciate your words and everything here thank you i'll be sure to check the video i've been uh, looking for um elsewhere for support as i as i don't want to add more worry onto my mother etc awesome silva i take care brother okay chris cornell equals powerful ripper <coughs> ripper no brother i was referencing the <coughs> I was re referencing that you picked up the Big Trouble in Little China books and all. Oh, yeah, dude, that was fantastic. Sorry for it. No, 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 no worries. And th those were jarring John Carpenter, right? And Big Trouble in Little China is fantastic, right? I was so happy I picked up, uh, picked up that set. And we got an amazing deal, right? What are some of these books? Uh, they range from comic books to science to... Uh, health to um, to 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 politics to the I Ching to uh, psychedelics and entheogens uh, the cooking stuff is not here I've got some cooking books in the kitchen what are you guys eating Have I read them all? Mm. These books here are a lot of health related. They're my partner. She's a nurse. These books here, most, I think almost everything here, uh, a lot of them. In my bookshelf, all of these books, I probably read fifty percent, if not more, which is pretty good. elder god your chichonian membership is on the fast track <laughs> ripper elder god talking to ripper awesome why don't you get fat eating cakes all day uh cater uh um, cater, cater pillaring uh because i don't eat this every day right i eat very healthy as healthy as i can i cook a lot right i don't use extra fats and stuff like this i i try to eat organic uh natural local foods right i exercise uh, i skipped it today because i was really busy i was trying to deal with the editing of the math thing so i could put something up today and stuff like this but i exercise in the mornings uh at, at least five times a week i go for hour two hour walks sometimes i do it twice yesterday i did it twice i went for a walk uh, because i had to think things through uh came home i was still a little stressed i vetted a little bit on on the mod discord forum right and then i went out for a two-hour walk and i came back right so uh you can eat you can eat you can eat treats there's nothing wrong with eating treats but eat the right volume don't overeat all right, this is me talking with a gigantic uh, lemon meringue pie that I just took down, right? But don't overeat and eat, you know, be a healthy body has a lot to do with a healthy mind, right? So be, find a space that you're happy with yourself, right? Don't overeat, right? And don't stress eat. Don't, if you're stressed out, don't go into the kitchen open up the fridge and start shoving food down your throat that's one of the worst things you can do if you're stressed out go for a gigantic walk listen to music blast some metal blast some hip-hop right blast some sound garden okay 
and I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop a. A little bit of meringue pie. Mick, I spent the last few hours looking more into cannabis. I have experience in extracting all types of substances, so it's definitely something I'm going to do ASB. Awesome, Mick. Awesome. What are you eating? Looks yummy. Lemon meringue pie. If you start the stream at the beginning or about 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, you'll see the whole thing in a big... Quinn, how are you doing? Gina, we're coming up to the third anniversary of Chris Cornell Soundgarden passing, May 18th, 2017. He committed suicide, didn't he? Am I correct on that? Oh no, I got kicked up all the way to the top of the chat, or part of the chat anyway. Where was Gina's comment? There it is. I'm a caterpillar. Oh, you're a caterpillar. Nice. Caterpillaring is what I do. Ah, okay. Caterpillar. Caterpillaring. Awesome. I like it. Nice, nice name. My girlfriend baked an amazing meringue lemon cake today. Yum, Nate. I get depressed when I go for a walk. Uh, why? Caterpillaring. Blast some sound garden then. Blast some sound garden. I listen to a lot of music when I go for walks. It's amazing. It's amazing. Ripper, I love a line you said years ago. Quote, I've read all my books back back and front, meaning the front and back pages only. <laughs> and I stole that from someone else. Right? I heard it in a documentary, I think, somewhere. And I said, hey, that's a great line. Right, that's exactly how I feel. The worst thing to do is eat and self-destruct -destru while you're depressed. Yeah. And by the way, I'm speaking from experience because I've done it during a period of my life where I was going through a lot of stress and stuff like this, right? Um, like... There was a time where I weighed like 210, 215 pounds. Right? <laughs> out of shape, Chicho. Right? I was partying like mad and going out and eating Chinese food at like 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And, and it was a destructive lifestyle, right? Vasta, Mick, vast, vast majority of anecdotal empirical evidence I've read tonight about cannabis cbd oil etc have all been incredibly positive which frustrates me even more due to the fact it's still illegal here mick i agree with you uh, and for me one of the reasons that i'm such a huge advocate of ending prohibition is because at the time when my brother was going through chemotherapy and radiation and stuff like this they were giving him um what do you call it uh uh, steroids and stuff like this to control the nausea and sleeping all oh, hallucinogenic like they were giving a pharmaceuticals up to yin yang but cannabis was not available and even though i knew about cannabis i wasn't aware of the benefits of cannabis it was all hush hush right and that to me lit a fire under my ass man anyone that says prohibition is a good thing as as fat john would say singing with nuja best uh Talk, talk shit about hip-hop and I'll spit on your face. Support prohibition and I'll spit on your face, right? Ignorant people. I just eat all day and I'm still skinny. Nice, Quinn. Be careful, though. Mr. Oth in I hope your name. Chicho, bro, I've been a shadow viewer for many years. Back to ASMR and math. Nice. I'm randomly scrolling through Twitch to find you streaming away. You're an awesome dude. You've cracked the code. <laughs> awesome. How do you pronounce your name, brother? Authent FB. Mr. Authent FB. I have no idea how to pronounce that, brother. Caterpillar ring. You're a caterpillar. Although doing that has given me tinnitus. Tinnitus. 
Graham, thank you for taking care of business, brother. He did he did commit suicide, yeah. Okay. He was on lots of medication though, yeah, unfortunate. Quinn, I'm I'm doing good. Okay. It was ruled as a suicide, yes, because I live in Grey London. Oh London. It's illegal in London? Cannabis? In in UK? Cannabis is still illegal? Is that for real? Yeah. Yeah. Elder God, I mark my timeline by movies and songs. Black Hole Sun takes me right back to Bullpins 1994. Wow. Yeah, there's some moments in life, hey, eh, Elder God, that you associate with movies or music or for me i used to follow soccer football a lot i've been to the world cup in 1994 and stuff so i associate certain periods with certain events in my life i've had my hair sh fair share of depression anxiety and not feeling well ah oh, lark i'm sorry chubby chicho <laughs> It sure has to do with my age, though. Da, 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 da. Do you know the demographics of your channel? Uh, Scarlet Phoenix. Um, somewhat, I guess. I see what YouTube gives me. I haven't really tracked the Twitch demographics. I just do what I do. I don't really dwell upon the demographics too much. I, I know I want to share certain things. Uh, I'm very happy to have the audience to share it. I have the platforms available to share it. I'm... I'm very grateful for you guys for the interaction and all this jazz, but I I don't dig down to the data too much that YouTube provides and whatnot because I don't care about their data because their data is about how I can optimize the the most uh, viewed content on my channel right so produce the same stuff but maybe I want to put out a hummingbird video right maybe I want to put out a raccoons fighting in a tree video at the time right people are like why are you put on a raccoon fighting in a tree video when i put it out i don't know when it was right right now raccoon two raccoons fighting in a tree video is my, my most popular video <laughs> it blows away the other ones right per day basis why did that come about i don't know I, at the time i wasn't i was just creating something to share because i found it interesting right so uh sorry i'm going a little hard on this scarlet phoenix uh but that's just because uh, i do know the demographics if i look at it uh but for me i share what i want to share uh, i'm here to use the internet the way i perceive the internet to be which is open form of communication for us to share our life experiences and to share information and to help each other right the hell with everything else including censorship we need a gif in my iso keyboard of chicho saying that shit about <laughs> funny river it's illegal here in new zealand as well oh man it's not even fully legal in amsterdam yeah they they uh they passed some laws saying that tourists now can't consume it or something crazy crazy technocrats oligarchs monarchs trying to con keep control so the so the peasants can't run amok right we got pitchforks man maybe they're afraid of that right ding bobber i still remember when my italian cousins were all in a state because italy was going to win the world cup fifa and then uh, and then did oops fun times i was young yeah fun times and i partied with the brazilians in 1994 uh with the south americans really when brazil won it was a latin uh south american central american win really graham to circle everything back around the reason that is uh your most popular video is because it's dramatic yeah maybe maybe i should do more dramatic videos Okay, I got to go look at this raccoon video. <laughs> Seriously, it's like picking up. 
Here's my demographics. I'm 35, male, Caucasian, from the US, comic book lover, pro wrestler, writer, and I love long walks on the beach. Awesome ripper. You could be my best friend. <laughs> Peace, everyone. Peace, Nikki. Peace, Nikki. VC. I have freed myself of the grasp of corporate media, but sometimes I find the freedom very heavy seeing the world we live in for what it is and noticing all the problems in everyday life how do you deal with this i contribute to a positive to to make us go in a positive direction i do this if i didn't do this you say an angry chicho <laughs> right because all this would have been pent up right and and that would drive me mad right one of the reasons i started blogging was because i was disgusted with our society where it was going and i wasn't finding some of the information that i knew being shared online so i had to fill the void why do i create this content that i do is because it's rare that i see content like mine created so i try to fill the void right i'm playing my part in our society is to lift us up right and to crumble the system the horrendous system right or the control mechanisms or the sensors right we need to make some interesting channel points reward sure elder god let me know what what needs to happen and i'll do from my end anyway wait if it's legal in Amsterdam, why do they care if tourists have it i don't know because i think they were getting a lot of tourist people and it was just becoming chaos so they criminalized it when is the stream usually up i need to uh i need this kind of chat in the morning but i'm in stockholm oh you're late in the evening oh we're almost done we do two i usually do two hour sets unless we're in the kitchen and in the kitchen we're anywhere between two to six and a half hours um and yeah usually two hour sets i just shared a very emotive cover version of Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun performed by Noah Jones shortly after Chris Cornell passed check out the music channel in Chicho's discord awesome Gina thank you very much for that okay thank you very much for that and you can go to the discord here if we do this chord and that should provide a link that you can go to the discord thank you Gina I'll check it out later tonight as well the only thing I didn't figure out is what the best way to do it would be in this situation smoke or put it in a food tea or just stick with the CBD oil as you mentioned steroids too uh, for nausea um, that's what they're uh, going to put him on along with sleeping tablets and more pills of which some I can't even read or know anything about uh, Mick be careful with the st steroids it'll increase the ones that I know of it balloon the person using them right so increase the weight so they become less mobile and heavy and stuff like this cannabis can uh, provide a lot of the effects that a lot of these pharmaceuticals including the store steroids will have so be careful as the best form of consuming it really depends on your father i would say stay away from the edibles until unless you have a perfect recipe where you can dose properly okay dress up as a raccoon and wrestle someone that's sure to go viral <laughs> thing bobber maybe <laughs> a raccoon fight in the tree with chicho <laughs> what's the average age in chat nice beard thanks 23 25 29 20 23 24 28 33 87 right on dingbot <laughs> ding bobber yeah 69420 nice 69420 awesome vc i like you seems like free money to me let's go da, 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 da. 18 awesome awesome listening to noah jones now nice and nora jones is a jazz singer the girl that's the jazz singer right i like her voice phenomenal voice when did they just give prescriptions of cannabis instead of this steroid uh because they can't they they're having a hard time um patent the cannabis right so it becomes generic so pharmaceutical companies can't make a ton of money by charging you a ton of money right 15 5 <laughs> caterpillar you're old for a caterpillar 
you're in, you're like major senior citizen caterpillar 46 from the uk uh elder god i'm a mongol dog black belt in two martial arts wow and wing chun pra uh, practicing love working out and create uh creating lots of uh creating lots of uh cre what creating lots of creating <laughs> your words trip me up uh elder god can i accept the challenge zach the ripper versus chicho the <laughs> ripper dude that would be too funny are you married chicho i have i have a permanent partner i have a permanent partner j main that i that i cherish oh that makes sense Ch -ch -ch. howdy chat hello amigo Nora Jones is Ravi Shankar's daughter. I think she took her mom's name. His other daughter uh, stuck with the Indian music and was very good. Ravi Shank uh, Shankar, Shankar is the one that played the sitar or something. I've seen him and his daughter perform in the Chan Center in Vancouver. Phenomenal. I believe it's Ravi Shankar. He's really older. He plays. No, it wasn't the sitar. It was a uh, something like this, or was it this? I can't remember. I saw it a long time ago, and his daughter was playing with a phenomenal music. Chicho, not illegal for tourists in Amsterdam. Only restricted for certain tourists in border areas of the Netherlands who only came to get high, and then went out on the streets of these small towns and got drunk as well being obnoxious weed is only partly legal in the netherlands with the production of cannabis being largely illegal while the selling and consuming is legal ah oh, okay thank you very much for the clarification nate i know they changed some stuff just to cut back on the chaos of the tourists coming there right and that would end if all the other countries legalized right ah uh -huh. As Chicho, I will be referee. <laughs> Ding bobber. A raccoon versus the ripper. <laughs> Fun. Ravi Shankar is one of one that introduced the Beatles to the Indian music. Ah, oh, is he? I didn't know that when I went and saw him. Anushka Shankar is incredible. Is that her name? The daughter? The daughter that plays with him? Yeah, they were both amazing. And they had a couple other people with them as well. It was a sitar player yeah that's okay so that's what it was it was the sitar dead a couple of years ago oh he just died a couple of years ago i went and saw him in mid 2000s the sitar or something please <laughs> i know <laughs> sorry i forget i've seen a fair bit of people uh musicians that's bad as wingman yeah no way or ravi shanked are inspired within you without you respect respect gang let's call the stream that's our two hours great conversations great conversations thank you for this by the way i was a little uh held back because of yesterday's uh stream when we had uh, some problems occurring and this was amazing seriously thank you very much gang if you want to follow the work I'm on Patreon. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this work. I don't put anything behind paywall, so you can just follow and get updates as to what we're sharing and posting. Okay. And if you like what we're doing, fantastic way to support this work. And it's patreon.com backslash chicho, C H Y C H O. And I'm smell as spelling this stuff is because I'm recording the audio. So we might be putting these up as podcasts on sound, uh, SoundCloud okay we are live streaming this on twitch and if you want to follow this work twitch is a fantastic way to follow this work twitch tv backslash chicho live chicho live one word okay and so by subscribing and following is also a fantastic way to support this work okay i announce these streams 30 minutes usually before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk and Hello, and I will provide links in the description of this video and audio. Okay, so you can follow the work there. That's sort of the platforms I use to share information. We are uploading the video to YouTube and BitChute. Everything goes to BitChute as long as there's no technical difficulties and sensors permitting. We 
load whatever we can on YouTube. We're doing another four streams this week. The last two will not be loaded on YouTube because there will be open discussion regarding COVID. So that's going to go pretty heavy, I think. Okay. And as of, as of, as soon as I can get to it, this audio will be loaded on SoundCloud. I will do my best. I got to load on some sound editing software. I believe I'm going to, Audacity is open source and uh, I'm going to try to learn it and do what I need to do to upload this video or this audio to SoundCloud, right? So you can consider this to be our first official SoundCloud audio that we're loading on uh, sharing, I guess. And I have the audio for many of the other things that we've done in the past. Not all 850 plus videos we put out, but at least, at least 400, 300 of those let's say and at some point time allowing finances allowing maybe we'll go back and upload those audios as well on soundcloud we'll see how it goes i've had a lot of requests for from people to share the stuff in audio format okay aside from that audacity is old style but does a lot okay awesome audacity as we go i want to go open source i want to go open source in the tone of notorious ch 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 <laughs> Ripper, awesome. <laughs> SoundCloud pod, complete. I'll try my best to get it up, gang. I'm not sure when, most likely after these streams are over. Aside from that, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the subs. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Thank you for the conversations, everyone. And if you can make it tomorrow, we do the 10 by 10 puzzle. Okay. Bye, everyone. Gino, most video editing software also allow you to export to audio. Yeah, true. I might take it into the audio or video editing software that I'm using. I'll have to play with it, Gene. Uh, Gina. Thank you for the recommendation. This is my first Twitch of yours. Very good. Awesome, Caterpillar. I'm glad you enjoyed Caterpillar. I'm glad you enjoyed. Bye, everyone.